Hello. Oh, hello. One second. Let me get my stream manager up. All right, we are in this. Oh, also, thank you very much for the follow, Red Dust. Thank you very, very much for the follow. All right, so today we are playing some Resident Evil 2. <laughs> Been playing No Man's Sky for a few days, so I need my fix of Resident Evil. <laughs> I started a party with Dr. Crazy. Um, I'm sure he'll join if he sees it. He might be AFK right now, though. All right, before we, before we start, let's go ahead and take a quick look at like extras and stuff. I like to wait a few minutes before actually starting the game. Concept all. Noticed how the word LOL looks like someone drowning with their head in the middle and arms you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it really does. <laughs> it does. <laughs> I've seen that before. <laughs> Yeah, it really does. It really does. Okay, let's take a little bit of let's let's take a look at the concept art, and we'll get started. I just like to give it at least like five minutes before starting the game to give people a chance to join. Yeah, this is still one of my favorites. I need to take a screenshot of this because I'm probably going to make that my next PlayStation background. This too. Oh my goodness, these are so cool. I already took a screenshot of this one. I'll take another one though because I got dr crazy one of those Japan cats that wave their paws up and down. <laughs> Um, this is going to become a new running gag between us three, right? Okay, for anyone who's wondering the context, um, yesterday, me, um, Red Dust, and Dr. Crazy were talking about, like, um, Oculus Quests or whatever, the VR headsets, and we were talking about the prices, and Red Dust says, oh, my bad, um, uh, mine is pounds, because he's from UK, and we're like, oh, that makes sense is why it's higher for us over here, and Dr. Crazy then said, oh, then he's in Japan, <laughs> <laughs> Pounds is UK, yen is Japan. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and start the game. Let's go ahead and start the game. Leon Scott Kennedy, standard. <laughs> Got one of those <laughs> Japanese cat things where How they went their paws up and down. That's legendary. <laughs> How are you doing today? I'm doing good. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Um, How are you doing today? I woke up very light this morning. I watched a couple episodes of One Piece, and I cooked. Wash. I cooked some breakfast, and yeah, now I'm ready to play some Resident Evil. Awesome. Thanks. How you doing today? Oh, you're doing awesome. Oh, I see. I see. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. We're going to use the casual outfit. I've been realizing for like the past four or five players of this game, I've been using the casual outfit for Leon. I like it though. But you know what? Today we're going to go to the RPD broke suit. Broke my thumb in VR yesterday. Oh, you broke your thumb. Oh my goodness. Crap. Did you get it fixed? Let's see. We'll go police classic, and with Claire, we will go classic jacket. My goodness, that sounds awful. I'll be back for you. Hurts like a bitch, but yeah, all fixed up, got some healing to do. Yeah, it's gonna take a while to heal up fully, but good to see it wasn't anything too severe. But that's pretty awful, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, let's go and grab this key. Also, Red Dust, have you ever played any Resident Evil games? I think I might have asked this when we played Rec Room a couple days ago. I probably did. I ask everyone that stuff. Because, <laughs> like, Resident Evil is legit, like, my favorite game franchise nowadays. I got into it um, about seven or eight months ago now. This was the first Resident Evil game I played. And I've played it at least 50 plus times. Yeah, I noticed you by your Jack impression. <laughs> by my Jack impression? Yeah, yeah, I remember. Because that was the first comment you put on my TikTok. You were like, I think that's Jack Baker or whatever. <laughs> and I think you said Village was your favorite, right? <clears throat> Welcome to the family, son. Yeah. I don't have a Jack Baker impression. I just like saying the things he says. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, Shit. nice. Have you ever played this one? There it is. The station. 
And if and if not, have you ever um, seen a playthrough of it? It was really really fun. <clears throat> Don't grab me. But I've speed run seven and village and haven't seen a playthrough. Oh, okay, cool, cool. So you haven't seen a playthrough of this? Well, you're in for a treat then, because this game is really, really fun. I think it's really, really um, satisfying to watch too. <clears throat> but you speed run seven and eight. That's awesome. What's your times? I don't really know um, much about times for those games, but I would still like to hear them. Um, I used to semi speed run this game. My best time was like 105, one hour and five minutes, I think. If not close to that. Nowadays, I just do casual playthroughs because speed runs to me are just a little too stressful. Guessing so I just play fast. From the graphics as thus is RE2. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is a remaster. The original was on the PlayStation 1. I actually played the original as well. The original was really good, but I prefer this one. Stun, please. Ooh, a decap. Nice. Still need to work on my aiming. Very rusty. But that's okay, because we got a lot of bullets out here. Gonna turn on my S and play some Mario while I watch stream. Gonna get a sub five. Oh, let's go! You you speed run Mario, the first Mario? Nice. Yeah, those speed runs are insane. Those speed runs are like insane. Also, forgive my controller drift. Best time is four five six. <laughs> nice. That's a really really nice run. Yeah, I actually have an NES as well with the original Mario. I don't. I think I have all the cords for it too. I don't play it much, but I really like having one. Okay. We use that to reload. I wasted a little bit of bullets, but that is okay. Missed the A2 flagpole glitch pile. Perfect. Missed the A8 point. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I heard a little bit about the Mario speedruns. I just know they're insane. I've watched one before. Actually, um, about a year or two ago, I watched this video explaining how the Ho Run works. Yeah, Pixel Perfect. Yeah, there's a lot of like Pixel Perfect stuff in that game. It's just like really, really hard to get good runs at. I can do like eight out of one zero. Wow, that's insane. That is insane. Do you have a YouTube or TikTok where you post that stuff? Because I'd like to see that. I know you have a TikTok, but do you have a YouTube where you post like speedruns and stuff? So tell me the story of RE2 and no, I don't have speedruns ATM. Oh, so tell me the story of Resident Evil 2 and no, I don't have speedruns at the moment. Okay, um, the story of Resident Evil 2. Um, okay, so the quick a quick summary of Resident Evil 2. Um, this Resident Evil 2 takes place after the mansion incident of the first game. So basically, what happened is Queen Leech released the T virus throughout like the Arkley Mountains, which got to the Spencer Mansion, which pretty much caused the outbreak because, you know, everything went off from there. And it spread to the city of Raccoon, Raccoon City. And this is pretty much in the middle of all of it, where the virus is spreading like mayhem. And you are Leon Scott Kennedy, um, a fresh new cop. This was his first day, and he just came to Raccoon City and to all this mess. So he made it to the police department, and now he's pretty much just trying to get out. But eventually, he makes his way to the sewer, and he meets Ada along the way before he gets to the sewer. And Ada is posing as the FBI, but really she's uh, working for an unknown organization in order to get the vaccine sample or whatever for the tea. So they head down to the lab and all that, 
where the under Raccoon City under under the Raccoon City sewers is where the lab's at. And yeah, um, Ada gets the vaccine um, and, and, and supposedly dies, but she don'ts. And Leon fights the super tyrant, and he gets out of there alive along with Claire and Sherry. That's like the very basic summary. It's a lot more in depth than that, especially if you okay. think of both scenarios. But that's like a very basic summary of the game. What? And I'm bad at explaining things. So, so if you're just wondering what's going on, that's like the very basic summary. Do you live on your own? Hmm? Do you live on your own? No, 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 no. I live with my mom and brother. This is one of my favorite parts of the game, just how the library looks. It just looks awesome to me. Also, let's hope for good luck. I think I got good luck. I need to turn up my TV a little bit to know for sure. Okay, um, let's see here. Where is it? Fish, scorpion, and water oh, bottle. Oh, in the politest way, what happened to your father? One moment. Hm. Oh, um, he died a couple years ago. I won't go I won't go like too depth into too deep into it, but yeah. We're gonna go ahead and move this once. This will help later on in the run. Hopefully not get bit by her. She's one of the harder zombies to avoid in this game. Go ahead and use this. Oh sorry for your loss. Hope you're okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Thank you though. So, if you're supposed to go down here where Marvin Branna is at, but if you keep going, you can skip this cutscene um, entirely. You just keep going and you head towards Claire. And also the cover for this is a lion leaf bird. If I can find the bird, yep. And this will give us the second out of three medallions. We're gonna leave that herb there just in case we get bad. Mr. X, luck, uh, luck. I said, uck, lighter. If we do this, we can make it push us backwards instead of push, it, we can make it push us forwards instead of backwards. I do that a lot and I just like to explain certain things I do so it makes sense. Cause, it, cause so in this game you do a lot of- I've been wanting to upload a video with you on TikTok at some point. Huh? Uh, so what you've been up to? I've been up wanting to upload a video with you on TikTok at some point. Yeah, that sounds great. That sounds really fun. Just just t let me know whenever you want us to make videos and stuff. Me, Dr. Crazy, and you. Oh, crap. I have a big back catalog. It's not working. I have a big back catalog of, like, co-op moments, but eventually our moments are going to be there, too. There was a lot of moments of when we were playing that backroom games and stuff that I want to upload on TikTok. All right, so now I've got the bolt cutters. Recently then? <clears throat> oh, what have I been doing recently? Um, honestly, I've been I've been just like kind of streaming a lot more than usual. I, I'm really wanting to like grow my Twitch. Um, yeah, like I've been pull, I've been pushing out like these six and seven hour streams lately, along with Resident Evil playthroughs in between. Also, I've been reading a lot of One Piece, the manga, and I also like yes, the day before yesterday, I started watching it as well even though i'm at like chapter 800 and something i want to watch the anime from the beginning so i can get like full memory on everything that's happened up to the point because i stopped reading one piece about three years ago like there wasn't really no reason i just kind of stopped so in the manga i'm not really confused as to what's going on but there is a lot of things i know that i either forgot or don't know the full story behind it. So I'm wanting to watch the anime, not only just to watch the anime and see all the awesome manga moments in animation form, but also to fully remember everything that's happening. Because One Piece has a huge world and it's a little hard to keep up with everything. Man, this is amazing, Zombie oh, by the way, the tell Dr. Crazy to give me his address need to ship this bloody waving cat. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let him know. I'll let him know. He's going to be mad. He's going to be mad when he hears us talking like this. He is not going to be happy. <laughs> All right. 
one more place to use the bolt cutters okay so now zombies are going to be coming through here but you can pretty much avoid all of them pretty easy there is this one thing I'm about to do it's a little risky but there's like nine times nine times out of ten you will avoid the zombie unless you mess up just like that okay we'll see let's hope we got good zombie luck okay decent zombie luck not bad at all and we will use the bolt cutters here we can now discard the bolt cutters and make our merry way to where we need to go next. Take this flashbang with us, go through here. Oh, bad long luck, but that's okay. And we will just do that. Oh, forgot to say they have fancy stuff here too. Got electronic toilets and stuff. Oh yeah, <laughs> over there in Japan. <laughs> oh crap we are going to take this joke to the end of the times <laughs> we're going to joke about this forever <laughs> you can yeah, usually run insane. in front of her but it didn't work that's yeah, insane <laughs> it's insane what you can get with 300 yen yeah <laughs> don't worry about this liquor he will not bother you Unless you're slow, of course, but if you do this, you'll be fine. Also, there is a, a, a small chance that if you do this Glad fast, I he will get you. Smile to someone's face we'll see if it works. I think we're fine. Looking at liquors will make them a little less aggressive, but I think we are fine anyway. Glad I can bring a smile to someone's face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You are a very funny person, I would say. In, in a polite way. I'm not saying in a rude way. I mean like you're really good at being funny and making people laugh And I appreciate that because that's what I like to try to do as well Laughter is good in, in other words I want some dark. No, no, no. I'm not really into dark humor to be honest Like I like I like humor up to a certain point, but when it becomes dark humor is a little eh to me, you know <clears throat> Can I say one <clears throat> Stephen Hawking's joke? Can I say one Stephen Hawking's joke? I mean, I, I guess, sure. Okay, here's a quick tip. If you run over here, because that bomb is going to make the shelf fall because it wants to lock you in the room with the liquor. But if you do this, the shelf won't fall. And I almost severely messed up the movement, but we're okay. Woman, bow, snake is the code for this. And now we've got all three medallions. I feel bad for Stephen Hawking's poor guy got stuck at the stairway to heaven. Yeah, I've heard that joke before. Uh, he might grab me. Okay, thank goodness. Okay, go down these, go down the ladder. I said these ladders as if there was more. Okay, she's right here. Looks like she lunges. Don't grab me, lady. Okay, there we go. No zombies in our way. Let's get going. And way I'm going to think of some more Japan jokes. Okay, yeah, I think of more Japan jokes, yeah. Yeah, I can't believe he said that. He said he was joking, but I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know if he was joking <laughs> when he said, oh man, he's in Japan. He might have been joking though. He jokes a lot. Okay, we're going to take this healing with us. I probably should have grabbed the he healing because we do have enough serious. storage movement for it. Yeah, he sounded very serious. He really did. And I don't know if that was intentional or not, but he sounded so serious. All right, I feel like that was a 12. Yep, right around 12. Also, if you didn't know that up at the top right, it'll tell you your time. Good job. <laughs> Thanks. And uh, that was not a very good police department, though. I've you can do it. In, you can do it easily in ten. But just for a casual playthrough, that's fine. Because I'm not really worried about times. I just like to take a look at the time when I complete the police department. I'm pretty sure the quickest police department I ever did was like ten. It was ten something. I remember making it to ten before. Every time I move my palm, my thumb clicks, and I just yelled, "Fucking woke up my mom." Oh crap. <laughs> crap. 
<laughs> Dude, yesterday, yesterday it was light. It was like three in the morning for me. And I was screaming for whatever reason because I was just like hyper because me and Crazy were playing Rec Room. I almost got in some big trouble. Because <laughs> we got night, we got, we, we live in apartments, so we got neighbors right above us. <laughs> How the fuck did you put a hole in your wall? Oh, how to, dude, how, put a hole in my wallet, bro. Like, for real though, I was just sleeping, and when I woke up, I realized there was a hole where my head was, like close because to where my head boy. was, would be. So either I banged my head on my wall, yeah, it, yeah, it had it been. Either I banged my head on my wall really hard in my sleep, or I was fighting demons. It was either one of the two. No We're getting good Birkin luck so far. Oh my goodness. Yes! Nice. Hit the eye, hit the eye, hit the eye. Man and Demon Slayer. This is great. Great luck. Great luck. Great luck. I messed up, but that's still great luck. Hold on, I'll read that. If this finishes before he grabs me once, I messed up a little bit, but we might still get amazing luck. No, nope. okay. Crap. Man and Demon Slayer, yes, exactly. Alright. We got good luck, but I messed it up. But he's basically dead anyways. Another hit or two should do it. Come on, Birkin. Yes. He's over. This is over. This boss is over. Yep. From him or you. From him or you? Huh? Somebody's watching. No, 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 no. For him, for him, for him. That boss is easy mode. Like, the, okay, let me explain something real quick. The knife in this game, hey. the strength of this knife is um, determined on frame rate. So on console, I'm pretty sure it's unstable 60 FPS. So even though the knife is overpowered, it's not perfect. On PC, for people who are able to push like 120 FPS and stuff, the knife is like actually broken. You can take out that boss like nothing. On console, however, or 60 FPS on PC, you have to determine it a little bit by luck. But even if you get bad luck, you're not in like a horrible position. Like there is rare occasions where you need two full healings with Birkin, but I that's very like rare. Four eight zero with my PC. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, I don't know if this game is capped at Overkill. 120, but if if this game lets you go over 120, then yeah, you can hit him in a couple. You can kill him in a couple hits. <laughs> the knife is very important for speed running in this game. And I would say that casual players should learn it too, because that boss takes so much ammo. Like when you're first playing this game, the first boss will take every, I'm telling you, the first boss will take every supply you gained from the police department, every single bit of it. All your shotgun shells, which we're not getting the shotgun, we're just gonna use the handgun in this playthrough. But all your shotgun shells, all your handgun ammo, like all your grenades. Four zero FPS or rust I can run at five four zero. Oh nice, nice, that's awesome. <clears throat> okay, be right back one second. I need to check something in the oven and I'll be right back. Man's a speed runner, MOG woman running.
Okay, I'm back. Man's a speedrunner. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't really call me a speedrunner, but I do know a lot about this game. So what's in the oven? Hmm? Um, chicken. We'll go ahead and put this key in here. Actually, we'll keep that. Um, we'll go ahead and put this in here. And we'll keep that healing just in case we get bad dog luck. And the chicken needs about five more minutes. <clears throat> so in about five minutes, I'm going to go get it out of the oven. And then we will finish. Or continue. I had some breaded chicken and chips made it myself. Hmm? Ooh, nice! That sounds yummy. Hey! I'm not done talking to you. I actually have, um, actually the chicken is for my there brother. I actually have, um, chili in the crock pot tonight. That, that's what I'm going to eat tonight. Very goof. Yes, very, very goof. Vami cannot grab you here. He's just for show. What's the time? What's the time? Oh, for, um, on my Resident Evil? Let me check. 16.17. Oh, the time for me, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. 7.40 p.m. One, two, four, zero. Yeah, it's light for you. I'm sorry that I stream so light. <laughs> We're pretty close to seeing Mr. X, actually. Mr. X scared a lot of players in this game. And first time, he was pretty scary, not gonna this lie. This is Loki better than TikTok on God. Hmm? This is Loki better than... <laughs> Alright. We're also about to see a banned episode of Scooby-Doo, by the way. So if you're a Scooby-Doo fan, you're about to see a band episode this. never before seen on Cartoon Network. I love your attitude to this. <laughs> Thanks. Talking about Resident Evil? I will tell you one thing though, just playing this game feels like home. There was that one point when I was streaming, I would stream exclusively on the PS4. And Just in general, with I could be as happy as you sometimes. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Thank you. Yeah, I forgot what I was going to say. Hold on. Cover this is. Oops. That's two. I should do it. Alright, band up those Scooby Doo. Now, now it's best just kind of hug this, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. I'm Don't going grab to me. go make a chocolate milkshake back in a flash. Woo! We didn't get bit. Nice. I'm going to go make a chocolate milkshake. Be back in a flash. All right. Okay, if you just kind of drag yourself to the right a little bit. Uh, I was about to say, I didn't really know if that was a bad or good thing that he was doing that. But it looked like it was a good thing. Dogs are free. Aw, oh, okay, we got bit. Long as it's not an animation hit, I'm fine. Never mind, had a Yuzu milkshake in the fridge already got that. Oh, nice. Oh, I remember what I was saying now. At one point, I was streaming exclusively on PS4, and this was like the only game that I really had that I wanted to stream. So I would stream almost every day and just play this game almost every every single day, a quick playthrough of it. So just whenever I play this game, it just feels like home. It just feels natural to play this for me to play this game. All right, so I'm gonna grab this. And we are going to use this the first time we're going to use a flashbang. What's your TikTok follower goal? TikTok follower goal. Honestly, I'm very happy where my TikTok is at. Like, I did not, there was one post I put on there that just blew up and I did not expect it to blow up. I, at that point, I was at like 20 something followers. And ju in just a couple days, I was at like 100 and something. So I'm, I don't really have like a big goal. Um, for TikTok. I think it would be awesome if we hit 200. 
you know, since we've made it to 100, we can definitely make it to 200. But I never gave that too much thought. I I do have a goal for Twitch though. I think it would be an I think it would be amazing to hit 50 followers on Twitch, which we're honestly getting pretty close. And thank you for following, by the way. You should make a playlist called Random Shit. Yeah, <laughs> just random crap. <laughs> I should. I really should. Okay, let's see. We got the flashbang, so this is what we want to do. We want to throw this, let him grab you. Because if you don't let him grab you, Leon will do an animation that wastes his time. Voice crash. Hmm? Voice crash. Crack. Yeah, voice crack. My voice cracks all the time. Make sure you shoot Elliot so he don't grab you. And don't go that way because if you go this way, it's quicker. My voice cracks all the time. What did Elliot do to you? Well, Elliot is, was a good guy. He was a police officer, and he gave us... Um, he's a zombie now. That's all. I, that's, that's my excuse. He's a zombie now. He has to die. I'm sorry. <laughs> all valid reason. Oh, uh, yeah, valid reason. Yep, valid reason. That's really the only reason I got is that he needs to die because he's a zombie now. I went the wrong way. Need to go this way. Poor, the, poor Elliot. So yeah, that's why we leave stuff like healing there, so we can use it when we need it. NGL, this cat kind of squeaky might need some oil. Hmm. Yeah, this cat squeaky might need some oil. Yeah, you better oil that cat up before sending it to Doctor Crazy. I'm sure he would like that souvenir from Japan over there. <laughs> Good point. Good point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if we're going to give him a, a gift from Japan, might as well go all the way, yeah? Okay, another flashbang. We're going to go ahead and discard on this. Uh, then again, excuse my controller drift. We're going to go ahead and grab this, which, which will be like probably the only blue herb we grab in this playthrough. Grab the gear. Quick turnaround. If we speak and him all the way, gonna get him one of those fancy ass dream catchers. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's a dream catcher, though? I actually don't know what that is. Alright, and the reason why we grab that flashbang is we have some zombies down here as well. So we're just gonna no, equip this. Don't equip the knife. Throw this. Let you grab it. <clears throat> and we need to go ahead and hurry. Grab this key. I don't believe in them, but my grandma got me one a day before she died. Never had a bad dream since. Hmm. Helps with knife blurs and hi oh, okay. I know what you mean. I think I know what you're talking about now. Yeah. Go ahead and put one of the knives in here. Put this in here. Now let's head out fast. Yep, I don't believe in them either, but they're still nice little souvenirs. Pull this down. All right, now it's time to meet Mr. X. Kind and I'm of also going to show you the tire dodge. She died after giving me the dream catcher. Never had a bad dream. Yeah. That is pretty spooky. So here he is, the one, the only Mr. X. But we are going to dodge him. Jesus MRX is hot. What? <laughs> I did not expect that. I did not expect that. That was arguable. That had to been like the most unexpected Emoji thing. loudly crying face. <laughs> what the crap? I was not expecting that. Oh my goodness. All right, this part is arguably the one of the scariest parts of um a run, is because this part can be pretty dangerous, and if you mess up, you can potential you can potential. I can't speak. You can potentially be comboed and. 
destroyed into oblivion, even though you will live. Okay, get on the wall, please. He didn't. That's not that's not good. I like the backtracking in Resident Evil, though so cool. Also, get your word out, mate. MOG thumbs up. Huh? Uh, I, li I, I lived. I like the backtracking in Resident Evil, though so cool. Also, get your word out, mate. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, get my word out. I have to speak. All right. We might get hit by the liquor. It's not the end of the world if we do. I just hope we don't because we did get bad luck. You want to be fast there, because if you're fast enough, he won't grab you, that zombie. But if you're too slow, he will. Is Mr. X here? Looks like we're just going to avoid him. He's not here at all. Nice. Good Mr. X luck. Good Mr. X luck. I can't say much. My spelling is just as bad as the boss in Resident Evil Village. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I'm very bad at, like... Like, I'm good at reading in my head, but, like, reading out loud or just speaking too fast is really bad for me. So if we shoot yeah, that, that's going to lure the zombies over to the gunshot, which will give us more time in order to do this. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Like, Sus. reading memos and stuff whenever I play a new Resident Evil game, even though that's really fun, I mess up so bad. Nice! Okay. We got bit, but that's okay. That is okay that we got bit. Because we were able to still move it to where we needed to be. And Mr. X is still nowhere sus. to be found. This might be, um, that's, it might be sus. <laughs> that might be bad, but it might be good. We'll see. We're going to go ahead and bop you in the head. Excuse me, sir. My controller drift is making it a little bit harder looks like my to uncle. aim because... Hmm, looks like my uncle. Wow. <laughs> looks like my bloody uncle. Alright, so the controller drift is making it a little harder to aim because it's moving me forward. And if you move forward, your cursor, see? Your cursor won't do uh, this. So it's He's a little bit harder to aim. He's five nights at federal prison. <laughs> He's doing the F and AF right now. I find not that federal prison. Okay, so we need to still have that gear because we're not done using the gear yet. We're going to go up here. My uncle is losing ATM. My uncle's losing at the moment. What you mean? Oh, he's he's um he's the security guard or whatever. Is that what you're trying to say? Oh, wait, he's in prison? Is that what you're trying to say? If so, that's sad. Okay, we'll put the small gear in here. And this will give us the second item it box. It was meant to be a joke, LOL, but we will just stick with the LOL. Okay, we'll just stick with that. All right, all right, gotcha. Hope I don't have to write a report okay, so this will give us the second item box. Now, hopefully, Mr. X... Is here. I know that sounds weird, but hopefully he's here. So how's life? So how's life? It's doing all right. Like we are definitely not going to get too much into it. We're definitely in a pretty. Pets. Okay. No, Mr. X. Let's go. One moment. No zombie double one. Yeah. Let's get out here. One second, and I'll read those. All right. Um, I used to have, I used to have pets. I used to have pets. Um, they were goldfish. They were awesome too. They were chads, I should say. I always wanted a dog, but I'm like severely, and I mean severely allergic to animals. <clears throat> so the backstory behind the bamboo stick Oh, um, so, ba <laughs> so basically, I love, like, martial artist movies and stuff, and when my mom bought, like, a big pack of bamboo sticks for her living room decorations, I took one of them, and I use it as my staff. I usually have it hanging on my wall, and if a robber ever breaks in, I'm going to beat them up with the stick. <laughs> That's the story. 
All right, so we're not going to use the flashbang. We're going to try to make it here scot free. Make it out of here scot free. Ah! Well, that's not good. Long as we don't get comboed, though. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and use healing because we're at low caution. Bop you in the head. One more zombie. We could probably just run from them, but okay, we're good. That wasn't great, Hallway of Doom, but it could have been worse. It could have been worse. Sus. Top 10 anime sus. <laughs> okay, now we're back in the parking lot. Get out of my way, Scooby-Doo. Okay, let's hopefully we get good dog luck here. Mm, you might be scot free. Yep, nice. Now, there is a tactic to get through here very easily, which I'm going to attempt it, but I'm not very good at it. I should train on it, but I just don't. But I should, but I don't. We're going to try it anyways. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and examine, open these bad boys up. I bet you could do the best voice for a move like in a word where DR Crazy could tell the difference between yen and pound. Wait, what? I bet you could do the best voice for a move like in a in a world where Dr. Crazy te um, could tell the difference between. Wait, what voice is it? What voice do I have to do? Cause I'll try it. I'm not. I, I can do. I can do a few voices. I'm not great at it, but I can do a few voices. All right, let's go ahead and do this real quick. Like a movie narrator in a world. One second, and I'll read that. Like a movie narrator in a world? Oh, that's like a movie. Oh, just like a movie narrator? Okay, let me try. <clears throat> in a world where Dr. Crazy could tell the difference between yen and a pound, lies the heartwarming story of yen and a pound. Is that what, we're, is that what you were wanting? <laughs> okay, let's grab this healing. <laughs> I'm so dumb. <laughs> let's grab this healing over here. <laughs> Let's go ahead and equip the flashbang. So what we want to do is we want to be fast. An Oscar. The third's an Oscar, thank you. Okay, we want to bop this one in the head. We want to throw this. We want to, okay, we already messed up. Did that hit Mr. X? We're in trouble. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. Okay, we're good. We messed it up, we failed. <laughs> we failed, <laughs> but, but we're fine anyways. <laughs> I need to train on that tech tactic, that technical, if you would. Um, all right, let's go ahead and put this in here. And this is where we meet up with Ada. So now we are making our way to what I like to call the walking segment of the run, because we are going to walk with Ada to gun shop Kendo, and then we are going to walk to the sewer, and then just it goes to the Ada segment, which is the, all the Ada segment the really is, is just, just walking and scanning. Emoji upside down face. Just had a refresher, a lot of turns out to be a take of paper, just swallowed a ball of paper. You just swallowed a ball of paper? <laughs> Swallowed a bowl of paper. We must be Ada to the bridge. No, Ada, no! I think running past that car speeds up her animation, so we were going to lose anyways. Taste bussing. Well, <laughs> that's great to know. I'm very glad that your paper is bussing. <laughs> MRX is big chunky boy. A Vic Chunky Boy. Wow, that's the first time hearing that. Mr. X gonna give it to you. Alright. Thank you, Ada, for opening this up. Now let's head our way to Kendo. Kindor, if you would. Um, yeah. Also, sorry for my sloppy gameplay. It's been Not a few days since I played different. this. Also, I'm just doing a really casual run. Bottom jeans look the differ. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. X go and give it to you. That explains the horrible things I've seen. And 
Also, just a quick explanation why I keep aiming on the stairs. Basically, it's called it's stair skating, set. and um, the the walking animation for going downstairs in this game is slower than running. So if you aim while you're going upstairs, you pretty much prevent Leon from going into the walking upstairs animation. Sewers are run by the city. Sure, How could they have I'm down. Without the authorities knowing? Okay, bear back one second. Let me um, get the food out of the oven and we will continue. Okay, back. Also, we are now about halfway through the game as well. <laughs> A little over half, actually. We don't need any more bullets. Actually, we'll go ahead and take it. Why not? It's, uh... We probably won't need no more bullets for the rest of the game, though. Again? It's not too late to turn back, Liam. No chance. You're stuck with me to the end. Okay, here comes the glorified cutscene of running from the alligator! Chomp. Uh, holy shit! Uh, He's gonna do two. When I was four, my sister who is six told me a glow stick gives me superpowers. My dumbass took a bite and sucked up the liquid and drank it before. Wait, what? Hold, hold, hold up, one second, one second, let me read that. Leon is such a shit. All right, let me read that. When I was four, my sister who was six told me a glow stick gives me superpowers. My dumb butt took a bite and sucked up the liquid and drank before I could finish. Like, oh my goodness, almost died. Grounded for two years and six months. Yeah, she pretty much deserved it because she almost um murdered you. <laughs> Innocent. That is messed up. My goodness. Yeah, that stuff is like poison. Poison, poison, poison. That's a pretty crazy story. She didn't know LOL. She didn't know? Yeah. That's a shame. You wouldn't have ever known me, LOL. <laughs> so let me get this straight. You wouldn't have ever known me, yeah. To who? Our military? Somebody else's? They don't sell the monsters. They sell the viruses that make them. And Annette is who makes the viruses. Annette Birkin. That alligator was. Annette is far more dangerous. Okay. You know, it's been a long time Any since I've watched the cutscenes. Hmm. hmm, let me think of one. I know I have a, a few pretty crazy things. Nothing insane. Like, I never got too close to death before. But, let me think. Secret weapon time. Time to scan. Ah, 
I wouldn't really call this a life story, but one time um, we were just we were just in our house as normal, and my mom went to go get like groceries with my you aunt or something. Just did what every one four year old does at new school swap genders. What? Oh, good grief. <laughs> Um, I think I get it. But no, we are we are playing as Ada Wong. Anyways, um, one time, um, like, my mom and aunt went to go get, like, groceries or something. Wait, I need to scan this. And we heard meowing outside. We heard meowing outside. And it was a cat. It was a young cat. It wasn't, it couldn't have been more than a few months old. And it just kept meowing at me. And when I went outside to get the groceries, it kept following me. And then eventually it went into our house. And it, and it was hiding under the stinking shelf. Decap nice. It was hiding under the shelf. Um, and my aunt had to go get him. And, um, I'm going to be honest, I really did want to keep that cat. It felt like fate. The cat wanted me to be its owner. And I really wanted a pet. But we didn't keep him in the end. And my aunt, like, one of my... Um, uh, cousins or whatever like my aunt's daughter wanted the cat which honestly makes me kind of sad because my aunt's daughter um, I'm not I'm not trying to I'm not gonna put anyone out there or try to talk about anyone but not the best person in the world and I wish the cat would have had a better owner like just my aunt like my aunt Margaret or whatever or just me because I really wanted the cat to be honest <laughs> I really wanted that bloody cat I think I might have found a piece today? of food for it, though. I don't know what happened to the cat. I just know that my my cousin wanted the cat, and she got the cat, and then I just never really heard anything since. But the thing is, is that my cousin or whatever, like she's she's had like a lot of pets and stuff, and I think she just gives them away because she gets bored of them or whatever. I don't really know all of it. I don't really know everything to it, but. I just wish the cat was someone else's, I guess. I'm not trying to talk about anyone, though. I hope the cat's doing good, though. <clears throat> I might get a dog one day, despite my crazy allergies. I'm just going to try I and find a dog or a cat dogs, that's not too like high in fur. Zero fish I got two parrots, three cats, one dog, one hamster, and like ten fish. Wow. <laughs> My man has all the pets. It's gonna burn me alive. Is it hard taking care of all of them? One gecko. And one gecko. Oh, okay. Hey, crazy, welcome on in. Crazy just joined yeah. the party. I just have one dog. No, I do it myself. Oh. Oh hey hey hey! How's it going, Jinxy Pants? Welcome on in. Welcome on in. We're just playing Resident Mom Evil Two again. Um, what, Doctor Crazy? Tell him age. My booty hole itches. <laughs> this is going to be a very degenerate stream. I can already tell. the cat. I'm gonna watch you go. Tell him about the cat. What? What do you mean? Oh, um, hey, um, hey, Doctor Crazy. Yeah. Um, Red Dust bought you the cat from Japan. Some people with allergies <laughs> do well Is with poodles. Labrador? I'm good. No, he bought you one of those little Japanese cats that move their hand up and down because he's in Japan, remember? Is it a Labrador? <laughs> 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 um, some people with allergies do well with poodles. Really? I'll, I'll look into that. I'll look into that. Because like I have, I think I've, I've mentioned this before, but I have like really bad allergies. Like if I'm with contact with an animal too long, I'll have like, she my throat will be like, uh, my throat will be like killing me and stuff for I'm like a week. I'm going to get the milk, son. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what did he just say? I said, I'm going to go get the milk, son. Wow. Okay. This is a very sloppy playthrough of fun the game, but we're having Jenna fun anyway. Fun was a chicken. <laughs> well, I'll read that. I'll let the cats go. Um, fun fact: Kylie Jenner thought a pug was a chicken. What the crap? I've heard the name Kylie Jenner before. Is that a celebrity or something? Pig. 
pig. Oh. Ada, where are you? Okay, we do. Excuse me, we do not need this anymore. Yeah, she's a woman. Mog hot beverage. Wow, that might be worse than the old Jessica Simpson. Is it chicken or is it fish? What? Point of view. Then the Jessica Point Simpson is it a chicken or is it a fish? Point yeah, of she's view. a woman. And, oh, Jack, I remember Point that. Of view, you win the lottery. I have come back with the milk, son. Okay, that's some dark humor, Doctor Crazy. I. And it is sad though how like dads will leave people and then they'll win when if if they win the lottery their dad will just appear back. I was in the restroom taking a shit for like an hour. Well, why? What happened? Crap! What did you eat? My stomach felt like Tell Doctor Crazy M. Chicken. Tell Doctor Crazy right now. Oh yeah, like bro, bro, you need to, you need to. He's gonna ship you that cat from Japan because he's in Japan. That I'm lactose intolerant. Oh, I really want. I've always wanted a Labrador. Oh, you're lactose intolerant. Ouch. Fuck you. I'm eating ice cream, bitch. <laughs> Here's no, no. Jeremy. I call that zombie Jeremy. I forgot his name a million times, so I just call Wait, him Jeremy. Is that red dust from Reckham? Yeah. Here's oh, Carl, shit. Jeremy and Carl. Don't grab me! Ah. I'm a shit in your pants. Your pants can wait for my shit. What the crap? <laughs> hey. Everything's yeah. getting yeah. so weird. <laughs> oh no, oh no, you're starting red dust is weird humor. <laughs> oh no. Alright, so gonna, now we're at the, the future, sewer. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a tattoo on my knee that just says dis. Diz. Huh? Do you get the joke? What? Do you get the joke? Um, what do you mean? I, well, me already. I said, in the future, I'm gonna get a tattoo on my knee that just says Diz. I don't get it. Yo, at my PSN, mm -hmm. it's face red dust. Oh, style Disney. I get it. I get it. I get it now. Ow! I hurt my knee. I had oh, wait. You have a you have a PlayStation it. Network now? Okay, okay, fine. Faze, what? didn't I already send you a friend request, though? Why is there a yes, cookie fine. in my book? Okay, um, I'm, I already sent you a friend request a while back. I'll send another one. I'll send another one. Unless you already added me. Hold on. Let me check friend requests. Uh, what? Oh, okay. Phase. All right, sorry everyone. I just want to add um, red dust real quick. Oh, okay, okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, I'll send you. I'm gonna. Okay, Doctor Crazy. I'm gonna start a new party and I'm gonna um, invite red dust. Okay. <laughs> okay, one moment. I'm starting a new party. Start party, closed party. Okay. Okay, I started a party with Red Dust. Now I need to add players. All friends. All right. All right. Oh, uh, yeah, what's up? What's up? Okay. Alright, now we'll continue the game. You can add me as well. My PSN is Tormlin. Okay, okay. I'll add you too. I'll add you too. Yeah, I was, I was thinking about asking you about that, um, Jinxy Pants. I wanted to add you on PlayStation. Alright, let's see here. <laughs> is it... Okay, let's say Tormlin. Um, which okay, so your PSN is just Tormlin. Um, I think this is you. Let me check. Let me check. I think this is you. Okay, I sent you a friend request, um, Jinxie. I think I, I think that was yours. Oh, 
All right, so we got the whole squad in, yeah? Cory and uh, you. Uh, yeah, I got the request. Okay, are you wanting to join the party or you just wanting to add me? I'm doing commentary! Brad Duff is talking. Cap and Crunch. You never had Cap and Crunch before? It's like the best thing ever. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it's so good. I love it so much. My brain is hurting. <laughs> Just the end for now. The oh, F is still a scene. Alright, alright. Help me. Help. Oh, I have minus one per uh, brain cell. I have minus 20,000 per brain cells. Fucking dumbass. Fucking dumb bitch. I'm smarter than you. <laughs> I like Phoenix. I'll take the bite. I'll take the bite. What did you just say? What did he? I didn't hear him. I think he just said something about penis. Uh, music? Combined. Oh my god, Gaming, you're gonna oh, make me really fucking really kill you. Gaming, you're literally gonna make me have a fucking aneurysm. I know. God damn it, man. You can kind of start running. This way, if you if you run and don't stop, you can avoid this diarrhea monster. Shut up, Why are you being so quiet? Why are you being so quiet? Sorry that these two are so loud during the stream. Why are you being so quiet? Why are you being so quiet? You should get that last 5% on Resident Evil 2. I can get what? I can't hear you. You should get I'm, I'm, I can't hear you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't. I'll go back on Twitch. Alright. Please left. Okay, he says he's going back on Twitch. Dumb. You can easily avoid diarrhea monsters by doing that. God. Oh well. What the hell? Crap me. Get down, Leon! <laughs> what? He's here? You oh, should wow. get last five on Resident Evil 2. That's never happened to me before. Hmm? You should get last five percent on Um, I got all the trophies. Um the last five percent is the um DLC that came with the game I bought, but I did get the platinum trophy for this game. Uh I need to I'm gonna go get that blue herb, honestly. <laughs> I like cheese and internet memes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just I didn't really care for the DLC stuff. I like it just came with the game. And internet memes. It just came with the game when I purchased it. I like it. cheese and internet memes. Yay. I have not been poisoned in a long time. All right, now let's continue. I got greedy. I was wanting to handle those zombies, but I kept missing. <laughs> That's okay. No biggie. This is the casual play through anyways. Ask Dr. Crazy if he walks his dog on a Tuesday morning on the afternoon of Saturday on a weekend fish true or false then just interrupt age. <laughs> um, Dr. Crazy? Dr. Crazy? 
Do you walk your dog on Tuesday morning on the afternoon of Saturday on a weekend fish true or false? And what? We are wrong! <laughs> I heard, do you walk your dog on a set Thursday afternoon and some fish yeah. is true or false? And it fucking broke my brain. What? <laughs> you literally broke me, gaming. My brain is not the same. <laughs> <laughs> We're so literally, dumb. I don't even know what you said. What did you say? You're wrong. No, before that. You're wrong. No! <laughs> you got my fucking screen. Dude, you're literally gonna make me fucking uh -huh. scream. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Hold on, let me put my tablet to where I don't have to pause the game when reading chat. I don't want to annoy anyone. I'll put it like this. Therefore, I can just kinda squint a little bit. I'll probably end up pausing anyways. Let me turn the brightness up a little bit. Mother of Okay. Gaming! Yes? My game just crashed. It's your fault. I got a priest up at the bed, up at the priest up at the bed, up at the priest. How? You're dumb, that's how. <laughs> we'll make it. Yeah, nice. Dude, ask yeah. him if he stops I'm being touches his ceiling on the dome on Tuesday night at 1 t in the day, then just beatbox in front of him. Ask him if. Okay. Um, hey, hey Dr. Crazy, Dr. Crazy, Dr. Crazy. Does your dog's what? feet touch his ceiling on the dawn of Tuesday night at 12 in the day and just... <clears throat> True. Priest, I put a bed, I put a priest, I put a bed, I put a priest. Dude, I learned the craziest thing today. It happened to me on Wednesday and then I screamed and I had to tell, I had to tell her that I had to go take my fish for a walk and then... A plane came down and flew me out to plane land. Huh? I'm in tears. <laughs> I'm in tears? <laughs> <laughs> Put a queen plug in here. Grab this. I had a break dancing fish only worked once though. Hmm? I had a break dancing fish only worked once though. Oh, that's dark. Dude, your mom is so nasty. She bit a dog and gave it rabies. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Fucking dumbass. Bro, people be deciding their gender at four. When I was four, I drank glow stick liquid. Hmm? Bro, your mom is so dumb. She thought the Super Bowl was... She brought a spoon to the Super Bowl. Yeah, <laughs> I heard that one. <laughs> Brought a spoon to the up? Super Bowl and drinking no. glow stick liquid at full. <laughs> Good luck, maybe? No, okay. Do that hand thing, bro. Okay. We're just going to wait for this dude to. Will people be deciding their gender at full when I was four? I drank glow stick liquid. Drinking glow stick liquid? Yeah. <laughs> when I was four, I was drinking glow stick liquid. 
Okay, let's see here. Okay. Come on, bro. A little bit of bad luck. Imagine going on Tinder and then matching up with your mother. Huh. Dolly haven't done that yet. Tell Dr. Crazy my story. What story? About the glow stick? Yeah, he said when he was like um, four, his sister six at the time told him that um, eating yeah. a glow stick would give him superpowers. So he drank it and when he was about halfway through, his mom came and they took him to the hospital and he almost died. And his sister was grounded for two years and six months. What? <laughs> what? Crap. These guys are so I'm hard to deal with when you get bad luck. Taste it disgusting. <laughs> yeah, taste it disgusting. Huh? He said the glow stick. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. These guys are so hard to deal with when you get bad luck. I'm eating a wheel of cheese right now. Thought it was going to- yeah, thought you were going to be Spider-Man. <laughs> oh my ow, goodness! Ow, ow. This luck is horrible! My hand got stuck- my hand got stuck in the cheese. Your hand got stuck in the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice enough. That's nice enough. Those are some of the most difficult and annoying enemies in the game. I like yeah. Knuckles. <laughs> like usually, usually you can get back. You usually, I like crispy knuckles. I know what you're referencing. I know what you're referencing. <laughs> usually, you can avoid those pretty, pretty easily. Yeah, I agree. I agree, Jinx. I agree, Jinx. Those are really bad. Usually, you can avoid those pretty easily. But if you get bad luck. Is that death? Online dating, online dating is is like uh, canned cheese. It tastes like cheese, but it's not really good for your self-esteem. I mean, it's not really good for you. Huh? I didn't hear you. I said love on the uh, online dating is like spray cheese. It tastes like cheese, but it's not really good for you. Yeah. My hands smells like booty cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, you can usually avoid those pretty easily, but I got some really bad luck. Okay. Now I just need to put these in. And it's time for G2. Okay, I so. asked my mom and dad how they met. They looked at each other, looked back at me, then left the room. Really? Really? Almost there. Do TMM. Do TMMM? Huh? Don't know still to this day. Uh oh. Oh, crap. <laughs> I dropped my mic. Sorry about that. Yeah, you still don't know. Wow. Calm down. It's only booty cheeks. Did you die? <laughs> Did you die? No, 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 no. My mic fell. <laughs> All right. So now there's this kind of a glitch. I think it's a glitch. But you can speed up. You can speed up this animation if you do Ow, this. We'll see if I can do it right. My foot is asleep. That looked good. I think that might have worked. I got a three zero zero desktop mic. I want more cheese. Aww. 
Huh? I got I a 300 one. pound desktop, not mic. Nice. That looked good. I thought that I thought that worked. It did speed it up a little bit though, so that's good. All right, now let's do this boss. I've been playing really sloppy today, so I'm going to try to clean up my act. <laughs> Starting now. Big Daddy X. <laughs> Mr. X gonna give it to you. All right, so this is what you need to do. You need to press this button, start bombarding him with the flamethrower. Hopefully he jumps. Gonna fight him, I yep. say. You want to run to the side like that, keep bombarding him, get a knife, and start swinging his life away. This is what you want to do, so just keep doing this. Cutting them all up. Come as much as you can. Dodge that. Get the, oh, crap. Get the flamethrower. That's not good. That's okay. Like, it's not horrible. Start bombarding him. If you get hit, that's fine. Yes, perfect, perfect. Press this. Swing with the knife. No! Get the, go ahead and equip the, if my controller drifts, it lets me equip the handgun. And that should be it. Yep, that's it. So that's the optimal way to beat that boss. So now we got the handgun ammo. We're going to go ahead and also grab this knife and flashbang for later totally stuff in the lab segment. Snuck in into the, I totally haven't haven't snuck into the school to play games on the lab's computer. How close you to end? Hmm? How close you to the end? Um, we're entering the final part of the game now. Shut up. <clears throat> we are entering the lab, and then Gaming. there's a couple bosses, but the bosses Gaming. are pretty easy, and then you win. Yes, Dr. Crazy? Gaming. Yeah. Your <laughs> so we are almost at the end. Where'd you get that? I watched this all the way through. You. Yep, you watched this all the way through. Yep, we're entering the finale. I'm There's still a little bit left, but not too car. much. Yes, Dr. Crazy? I'm killing people with my car. Uh, While nice. having rock music playing in the background. Uh, nice. <laughs> Do it, Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> Dies while oh, car killing people with his car while having rock music blasting in the background. I mentioned this, but I like how you can press this lever before Ada says this may be a one-way ride. So players might can press this before they realize this is the last chance they'll be able to go back to the police department. Dude, Umbrella. Is like going to the bathroom and then coming back with a doggy bag. What? Homework is like. Going to the homework is like going to the restroom and then coming back with a doggy bag because you Jimmy like covered everything in the day of school like what the fuck? what umbrella site forgot the name of the company. Shut up. Oh yeah, the yeah the name of the company is Umbrella Corporation. Yeah man. So yeah, you got it right. Yes, Doctor Crazy. I'm eating. You're eating? Nice. There, that's it. Cheez it. Yeah, the Umbrella Corporation. Oh, I killed him over the car! Okay, for any players wondering, you can actually get the shotgun right here. If you missed it in the police department. Alright, let's continue. We do got a lack of ammo, which is fine, I guess, because there is more. When I went to America, I had tater tots. Tater tots, yeah, tater tots tastes good. So good. Yeah, so good, I agree. Okay, so while you're running here, you want to switch to your flamethrower and go ahead and reload your flamethrower, switch back to your handgun, and then continue. Go ahead and reload your handgun as well while you're up here through the vents. 
make your way down here. So the reason why I shot that door was to help make the zombie go over there so he won't bite you here. You he might still, but through. he didn't. Nice. You should do a walkthrough. A walkthrough of this game? On YouTube? I, I already have one on this on YouTube. I also have a long play on YouTube. Like a YouTube video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a long play on YouTube and I also had a let's play I did a few months back. I'm gonna do a long play of Claire soon. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and combine this upgrade to the upgrade of the flamethrower. The zombie is here. Aw, I did the movement wrong. But that's okay. Messed up the zombie dodge, but no big, no big deal. No big deal. Oh, zombie. Ethan, welcome to the family, BOI. Yeah, welcome to the family, son. Dr. Lee, your presence is urgently requested by Chief Cartwright in the East Area. Here we are, we are officially at the lab segment. Jack can be scary with the roller though. Yeah. yeah. Actually we never played seven. Am planning to though. Am planning to. I've seen a ton of it though. I watched a streamer called Stampede. He might be streaming right now actually, because I'm gonna if he's streaming I'm gonna write him after the stream. I might stream Minecraft. Oh nice. I done all the DLC I can game share it with you. Oh cool. No, that's okay, don't worry about it. I'm gonna I'm gonna get I it said soon. I might, I said I might. Yeah, you might. Okay. Gotcha. Take the Okay. I don't think we need I any more RE7. sub weapons. Yeah, I love RE7. Seven. Yeah, RE7 is awesome. But thank you for the offer though. Yeah, Jinxie, I love RE7 too. Even though I never played it, I know I'm gonna so love good. it. So good. Alright, so we're gonna run away from the plant monsters here, because we're wins. Now, the first code here is this. It might have got it wrong because the controller was drifting. Okay, there we go. I'm, 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 I'm saying... Uh, thank Crazy you. Okay. Um, I don't think he's okay. <laughs> I killed someone. Now we do have a little bit of a lack of ammo, but that's okay. No big deal. We're gonna go ahead and combine this. Controller, please. Thank you. Imagine popping like a balloon. That would hurt. He's listening to Pop Sunflower. Like so the cover for this is red, green, blue, red, green, blue, red, green. Wait, really? Huh? Ow! Ask him. Apparently, there's a law in New Mexico where women are not able I messed to it up. appear. I I'm messed it up, crap. I messed it up. up. It's red, blue, Give green. Me. It's red, blue, green. No, no, I messed it up. I messed it up. Ah! I messed it up. I mess up how? How? Giving. What? Supposedly in Mexico there's a law that women cannot be cannot be unshaven in public. Huh. They have to shave themselves. That's weird. Someone's on my car. <laughs> they got yeeted. There we go. There we go. Imagine getting yeeted off a car. That would hurt. That would hurt. You should upload the rec room video soon. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of videos I need to upload. I did not like how he went forward like that, but that's okay. Cause we made it anyways. Yeah, 
Okay, so what we want to do is we're going to use this grenade. Right, right here. I wonder where the. I now killing any zombies that might have lived. Guessing you're near the end. What? What? I wonder what state uh the Amazing World of Gumba is in. I don't know. I don't know. Like fucking Makakugagi. Yeah, I'm getting so close to the end. So if you do this, you will be fine against this flicker. I love Amazing World of Gumball. Hello. Cool. I never watched it. I guess it was a little ahead of my time. Okay. All right. Now let's avoid the zombie here. That zombie does not like to stun for some reason, Crazy but that's okay. Sus. Crazy is sus. Yeah, he's very yeah, sus. Now we're gonna go ahead and... Actually, we're not in a speedrun, so we're just gonna walk. We're gonna be wimps. It's a little bit slower to walk over here, but it's a lot safer. Run. Run? Uh, fine. Bet. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Examine. We need to put it on Murph. LOL. Imagine cars <laughs> being made by cars fucking. Uh. Run. Don't combo me. Do not combo me. Oh! <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I wasn't listening. <laughs> What'd you say? Get me? First death. <laughs> what did you say? I don't... You won't believe how long it's been since I died in this game. You won't believe how long it's been. <laughs> Ten minutes. This was a no save run either. Okay, did I already do this? Wait! Did you just lose all your progress? No, 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 no. They have the only the only bad thing about this game is that they have auto saves like every ten seconds. You're welcome. Oh. <laughs> Where is the plant monster? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, well, I'm not even gonna. One second, one second, one second. What? Run again. Run again, bet. I'm not even going to explain how long it's been since I died in this game. It was really bad, especially yes. because I. I didn't do the movement for the running movement, so oh, I didn't do that. Okay, yeah, I'll run again. I'll run again. I'm gonna do it the speed run way. I've been pile. I've been stuck in a pile of potatoes. I can't believe my man's comboed me though. I'm salty. Potatoes. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and grab this. I didn't use the grenade. This is bad. I can't run anymore. Hold up. We're gonna do this right. Yes, Dr. Crazy? BB. BB? BB. We're gonna do this right. We're gonna do this speed run way. We're gonna do this speed run way. <laughs> We're gonna run again. I have to kill the zombies before running though, or the zombies will grab you and it'll make it impossible, so. I had to reload. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do this right, we're gonna do this right. We are going to do this right.
If you die, I'm going to piss myself. I'm not gonna die. I'm not gonna die. I'm not gonna die. I'm I'm taking this serious now. I am experienced, quote unquote, at this game, and I'm going to show you guys how it's done. <laughs> Okay, first throw this here. This should kill all the zombies. I might have threw it a little bit wrong, so we're gonna make sure. Okay. All the zombies look, I didn't hit him, but all the zombies look dead. Okay, now we just want to look up and run to the right, so we'll be safe of the liquor here. Next. We're going to go through here. Make sure you stair escape. Be close to the wall here so you can avoid him. Well, he just fell anyways, poor Lommy. Alright. Needed a little extra ammo, so we're gonna grab that. Quick turn and get out of here. Bop you in the head. I'm um, too far. Well, this is fine. He's stunned? That zombie never stuns. Okay, so now we're gonna equip this. See if I can do this right. I am gonna try some hits, but we should be fine. Where's the liquors? Ah! Why didn't they come over here? Um. All right, use the healing. Now use another flashbang. Now we've done really bad movement. We needed that flashbang for plant monsters. Well, this is horrible luck. All right, examine. Murph. <laughs> this is so bad. That one. All right, we're gonna use this. This is so degenerate. Dead. <laughs> now we're good. We're good. Welcome back, Doctor Lee. You have five new messages. Who left the freezer open? Cold. Yeah, we gotta make this bad boy cold. Crap, we're just gonna run again. We're brave. If you look at the liquors, they'll be a little less aggressive, as you can kind of see here. And there we go. Now hopefully we got good plant luck. I don't know the plant luck because since I died, he might be in a different spot. Okay, he's kind of out of our way, which is nice. Good job. Thank you. Now we're going to put the colored boy in here. And we are very close to the last final Let's boss see. and stuff. Bro, Red Dust, I can't wait to show you the Tyrant Dance. We've been joking around throughout this Let's Play, but now it's time to be serious, because we're at the end, and it's time to be serious, gamers. This plant monster's in an awkward spot. I hope you don't get up. Okay, now Mr. X is here. All right, so we got the knife. Now, if he's turning around, we'll be able to swipe him. Come here, boy. There we go, now we can just run. He trapped me here, but whatever. That's okay. And that's why we got all those sub weapons in case we get in trouble there. All right. Let's go ahead and equip this, combine. And we are going to head away till to G3, 
which will be the semi-final boss of this game. Oh. Yeah, G3 is the semi-final boss. The final boss is uh, Mr. Oh, X, which you have to fight almost right after. Minutes. I got to go in 10 minutes. Don't worry, this will be done in 10 minutes. This will be done in 10 minutes. All right. Examine. I'll be extra fast. Try to, at least. I'm coming for you, G3. Yeah, this would definitely be done in about 10 minutes. Haku. Haku. Come. Uh, um. You can do it. You can do it. Thank you, Dr. Jinxie. All right, I'm pretty sure there's some kind of healing over here. We don't need it. But just in case I want to check now, okay. There's a healing down where he's at, and we got plenty of healing anyways. I wish I had one of those super healings, but we don't, but we should be able to do him without getting hit, and if we get hit, we won't get hit much. So here we go, G3, starting right about now. So what's with the doctor, can I be Dr. Red? One second, I'll read that. Ooh, nice. Okay, jump back. Go ahead and give me this. Get out of his way. Reload. Stay pretty close. Nice, nice, nice. Run forward when he jumps. Just like that. Okay, go ahead and equip this. You are not throwing that at me. Go ahead and re-equip. Alright. <laughs> He cannot die during this animation, so we have to wait. Go and grab this in case we might need it. And you are done. You are done. He is beyond dead. All right, so what's with the doctor? Can I be Dr. Red? Well, the only problem with that doctor does is that um, Dr. Red is already one of my names. But we can call you Dr. Red anyways, or Dr. Dust if you want. All right, so G3, easy as silk. Yeah, the flamethrower really works. makes G3 easy, super easy. Ah, dust works, okay, Dr. Dust. All right, now we are moving on to the final boss. Jinxie already knows about the Tyrant Dance, but I don't Yay. think you've seen the Tyrant Dance. Yay! Exactly. I don't think you've seen the Tyrant Dance, have you, um, Red Dust? I've trained on it in a little bit. I'm not perfect at it, but I can usually get it good enough. No. you never seen it? Alright, you're in for a treat. It's really funny to watch. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I was going to make sure the knife is equipped. We want a nice clean knife. Oh, I love this game. Got to go in six minutes. Got to go in six minutes. Do not worry. We will be done with this in six. What? Less than six minutes. 
It'll probably take us about five minutes to do the rest of the game. I will be extra fast. Go ahead and have to gra grab the healing. We already got the knife. Let's be very fast to make sure that Red S gets to see the full game. When's the dance? When's the dance? The dance is going to be in about three or four minutes. About three minutes will be the dance. Or four, maybe. Very, very soon. We're pretty much entering the boss arena. We just got to run past these plant dudes. Oh crap, he might get me. Oh, nice. All right, very clutch. Bozo missed. Bozo missed. Yep, he missed. And I missed even more. Okay, look. Tyrant dodge. I'm a little close, but that's okay. All right, final boss is happening in about 15 seconds-ish. Very, very soon. Pretty much right when we walk past this. Enter here. Here we go, final boss right now. Okay, make sure the knife is equipped. We got way too much healing, but that's okay. All right. So now we just need to make him flinch three times and then it's time for the tyrant dance. Okay, we got hit. That does not matter. Still fine. If you mess up the movement at the beginning, you have to take hits, but that's okay. If it'll let me use the healing. Flinch for me. Flinch. Ah. Still fine. Okay. Tyrant dance. Get away from the rock. I want to do the tyrant dance. Do we have another rock? Okay. Just in case he decides to try to kill us. All right. Okay, now let's start the tyrant dance. Here we go. Stay away from the rock, bro. I need that rock there. <laughs> he wants that rock. Well, so th so basically, this is the tyrant dance. <laughs> he can't do anything. We're just effortlessly walking past them. All right. Poor guy, LOL. And that's it. And that's the game. We just need to run past I these zombies, and that's heart, it. The tyrant dance. I heart the tyrant dance. Yep, I do too. Bam! 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 <laughs> And that, my friends, is Resident Evil 2. Whew. That, my friends, is Resident Evil 2. I want to play it now. I want to play it now, yes. You got to play it soon. It's such a good game. So anyway, that's going to call it a stream. I know it's a little bit of a shorter stream today, but that's okay. We did a full playthrough of Resident Evil 2, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. But um, let's go ahead and see if there's a, a raid target. When I have three or more viewers, I like to go ahead and do a raid. I'm we'll about see. to stream Mari 3 LOL. Hmm? Well, I'm going to head off. Have a good night. Hope everything goes well. Yeah, same, man. Have a good one. Thank you all for dropping by. I'm going to go ahead and see if there's a raid target real quick. Resident Evil 2. Jinx. 
Okay. Raging. Huh? I missed the comment. What did it say? Okay, let's see Wait, here. Jinx. Wait, um, Jinx, are you online? Because if you're uh, if you're streaming on Jinx, I definitely want to write you. Night. All right. Good night, Doctor Red Dust. He wants you to raid me, but I'm starting in about half an hour. Lol. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll definitely ride you if I see you online, though, in the future. Good night, Dr. Red Dust. All right, let's go ahead and go to Resident Evil 2, and we'll find a raid target real quick. Thank you. I appreciate that so much. No problem. No problem. It is my pleasure. Okay. Sunflower 0623. Okay. One moment. One second. Okay, we're going to be writing Sunflower 0623. I think the ride worked. So it should be writing at any time. One moment. Let me go ahead and check. Let me go to my stream. Let's see here. I like to make sure the raid works before going. Anyways, that's going to be it for this stream. I think the, sh the raid should work. But anyway, thank you all again and have a good one.